All right, guys, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm not going to make this a lengthy video, but what I want to talk about today was uh, Google Messages and why it differs from device to device uh, so greatly um, and oddly at that. So what I'm going to do first is jump into the app and go to about this app in the app store. And I want to show you guys what I found. And it's so odd. So when I go down to versions, hopefully you guys can see that on the screen. The version that is showing on the screen is exactly the same. They both have the open beta dynamic. They both are 2024, 1204, underscore 01, underscore RC00. And they both were updated on December the 5th, which was yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the app itself. And here's what I want to show you guys. So even though the apps have the same version name, when I go into, let's say I want to send a photo. Let's see, go down here. So for, well, no, 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 let's, before we jump into sending a photo, notice right away that the messaging bar at the bottom is very different on each device. Um, inside the box on the left on the Vivo, and this is the Vivo X Fold 3. You guys have seen it a few times on my channel, quite a few times. Uh, it just has the RCS message in there, and it has the emoji icon and the voice note icon, the center voice note. The other two items are on the outside, the plus button, so you can do choose whether you want to give, uh, send gifts, stickers, so on and so forth. And then you have the gallery. So this is what I wanted to get into on this device. When I click gallery on each device, it's so different. Whereas on the Vivo, it takes up like two thirds of the screen with the camera, which I mean, not bad. I mean, you, you have a large viewfinder for what you're uh, trying to take a photo of. And then it puts the gallery at the bottom. And then I'm gonna show you the next piece of that. Um, and over on the right on the Pixel, uh, 9 Pro Fold, it only has the viewfinder in this little small box uh, that that we're used to. And you see the uh, the other photos over to the right, and if you swipe up some more, they'll bring up the rest of your gallery. And the same on the uh, Vivo, but the gallery will instead take over your whole screen, and you have more space to choose, you know, what you're going to pick for your photo. So, you know, I... I I don't know if I prefer to change or not. I mean, it's not a bad change. I just, I don't know if I prefer it or not. But what I wanted to bring to you guys' attention was the fact that when I first read about this change, I was completely under the impression that it would come to the Pixel 9 Pro Fold first, being that it's a Google device. And I would think that Google devices will get the newer changes uh, right away. But what I wanted to mention was Google is just not consistent across the board because I'm getting changes on this device that I'm not getting on this device. And I'm getting changes on this device that I'm not getting on this device. And they're, they're minor changes to the uh, messaging app, but they are changes nonetheless. So what I want to mention was actually, let me see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. If I click on like an old photo that I sent, let me see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me see, maybe this one. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do it right. Let's do it live. I'm gonna send a photo of my son to myself. Oh, so here's the next piece that I want to touch on a little bit. Um, on this side, the other change that they made outside of the viewfinder and the gallery being at the bottom, if you swipe up, it takes over the whole screen. You now can choose right before you send the photo. You can click on this little button up here. Let me get up closer so you can see. It has a little HD plus button. If I click on that, I could then choose, do I want to optimize it for chat so I can send it quicker, or do I want to send the original quality uh, at full resolution? Right before I send the photo, I can make those changes, which is, I mean, cool, no complaints. But that feature is not an option on the Pixel. When I pick the, the photo, it just puts it pops it right in, inside the text box, inside the RCS box, whichever, whichever one you want to call it. But it pops it right in there, and you can't make any changes in there. You will have to do that before 
in the settings in the messaging uh, on the main uh, text screen. So the, the the changes are just not consistent across the board. I don't know. It's so odd. And I don't know what Google is doing from that aspect. It's so odd. But let me save this photo. And on this phone, one second, guys. I want to see something. Let's make sure that it's not lying to us. So on this phone, this photo is 4.7 megabytes. Okay. I saved on this device. I sent it over here. Let's go over here, go to uh, messages and pull up the photo. That's the photo there. We're going to swipe up and go to details. And it's 4.7 megabytes. It sent the full quality photo. It's so they're, they're, they're not lying on that piece. But jumping back over to messages, we're going to bring back up the text. And here's another change that my discord is going uh, kind of crazy right now because Marvel Rivals just released but anyway the other change was you can see let's let me get this back up close again let me zoom in you see the double check mark showing that uh, it sent and it was received by the other device it's showing up on the outside of the photo so let's switch over to the Google device and let's show something that's not so confusing so here let me get back a little bit. You see the double check mark is inside the photo, which I don't think I prefer that. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one just yet. I think I I feel like the check marks being outside the photo is more clearly visible. But, you know, I don't know what Google's going for. But anyway, the changes are just not consistent across the board. I don't know what Google is doing or how they roll out their updates. And I I'm not a developer by any means, so I don't know what the 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 ideal is, what the big picture is. But it's just inconsistent across the board. But the inconsistency is not the biggest concern. It's the fact that Google is reporting that in the App Store that they're the apps are the exact same version, which is odd to me. I don't know how versioning work or how uh, works or how they how they decide on the version that they're going to, how big the changes have to be to be a big full version versus a uh, version 1.0001 or something like that. I don't know how big or minor the changes have to be in that aspect, but I feel like they're not reporting it correctly because you can't have the exact same version and have different versions of the actual app on the phone. That's so odd to me and inconsistent. So I don't know what Google's going to do going forward. And then we have this whole RCS issue on top of the versions being so different from phone to phone. Um, so you never know if you're going to get the full capabilities of RCS from Google device to Google device. I mean, like I can send a full high quality photo here, but I can't do it on this device yet. So I, it's, it's just odd and inconsistent. But anyway, I just want to touch base with, uh, with you guys about the Google messages and my, and just things I've noticed. And the last thing was the whole RCS thing with Apple. I'll touch on that in a whole another video because I think it's, it's going to require another video as more information comes out. But anyway, appreciate appreciate you guys tuning in as usual. I'm Rome, and this is Rome Reviews. And feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And tune in to the next one. I'll catch you guys later.